Hi everyone, today I'll show you how you can repair a broken LED light fixture. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I make weekly videos of electronics, code and general making and I'm sure you'll find something of an interest. This project involves dealing with mains voltage. Extreme care should be taken if you want to attempt a similar repair. If mishandled, mains electricity can kill you. I had this LED light mounted in my home and it recently stopped working after a problem I had with the loose ground wire. I already replaced it with a new one but I wanted to see if I can repair this one and use it in my workshop. After I opened up the casing, I immediately saw this burnt fuse resistor. The resistor is 2.1 ohm with at least half a watt rating so I started searching for a replacement. The closest one I could find was this 2.2 ohm resistor but it was in a much larger form than the original and I didn't want it to allow the fixture to fail at larger current. Instead, I used two 7.2 ohm quarter watt resistors in a parallel configuration to get about 3.5 ohms with half a watt rating as a replacement. After I removed the lids from the old resistor, I've inserted the new pair through the same holes and without further inspection, I was eager to try the lamp out. I connected it with some jump lids to the mains plug, making sure to isolate all of the jump wires connections for safety. After plugging, I heard a pop and the light didn't came on, so I knew that I had some other issues as well and I should have checked better. Reviewing of the footage later revealed a nice small explosion on the resistors that I just replaced. I removed the light from the mains connection and continued with further inspection. What caught my attention is the smoothing capacitor that was across the input on the bridge rectifier as it had some discoloration. I removed it from the board and sure enough the capacitor had a crack on one of its sides. The capacitor was labeled as 470 nanofarads and the closest I could find from my old electronics pile was a 330 nanofarads from a broken compact fluorescent lamp. When replacing such capacitors, it is crucial that you get a replacement that is rated for the voltage that you are working with. This one was rated for 400 volts, so I knew that it would be good enough. I then replaced the capacitor and once again replaced the resistors on the input. I now made sure to do some other tests on the board for any shorts or other weird readings and after I was sure I could not find anything else that was broken, I connected it again for testing. Sure enough, I had a success. The light started working and even though it looks flicker on camera, it produces a nice light in person. I then set to isolate the driver board and proceeded with assembling it back to its case. Once everything was back together, I tried it one more time to confirm that it all worked. If you found this video interesting, then hit that like button, subscribe for more similar videos, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Cheers, and thanks for watching.